on July 25th of 2019, I got my first shipment of birds for the aviary. I was so happy to finally be done because I had been working on it for eight months or so and I couldn't wait to get birds in that space. So it's been a year that I have had birds living in the aviary, more or less. They did move out the winter of 2019 so I could make significant improvements. Because as it turns out, I wasn't done. So, thought it would be, I don't know, interesting to reflect back on a year of keeping birds after 30 years or so of not keeping birds. So, Isolde, Tristan's partner, did not live in the aviary very long. She was killed by my diamond firetail finches, who turned out to be way too aggressive, who also ended up not being able to stay in the aviary. Neither did my gravel or my horrible pond waterfall that never really worked and I hated it anyway and so did the birds. Despite it being very cleverly engineered, I might add. So good riddance to that. My Dr. Seuss tree got disassembled and redistributed as individual branches, but my mango tree survived. It just got moved into the corner, and in fact, it spawned two more trees. And uh, judging from how much the brand new babies hang out in all three trees, I think they've probably worked out pretty well. Also gone are my two super functional sliding doors. I cannot begin to count the number of iterations of plant schemes that I have been through. My poor birds are so tolerant. I've moved shrubs. I've had real bamboo. I've had little bamboo. I've had tall bamboo. I've had fake bamboo. I've had real moss. Actually, I've only had real moss, but it's moved all over the place. And it's been in the aviary, out of the aviary, in the aviary, and now out again. I had a cage in there for a while, and the cage came back out. I built a deck. I built a waterfall. I built a stream. I rebuilt the stream, and I rebuilt the stream. I've been able to keep the place clean, and I finally got temperature control under control, along with about a thousand other little projects. I feel like for the most part I've been very fortunate in the health and well-being of this mixed group of finches, both how they get along and how they've been able to raise their families. And I've also had some setbacks. Heartbreaking setbacks. And I've learned a lot and I've made a lot of videos. I wanted to make one video per week this whole year and I was able to do that. And that's been a whole learning experience unto itself. So for everyone who has looked at the videos or subscribed, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. It means a lot to me and it makes the effort worthwhile. Cheers, guys.